Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to get non-Steam launcher apps. So the Epic Games, also Ubisoft Play, or even EA Play, you know, that stuff. I'll show you how to get, get the apps and how to get it up and running. First, you're gonna wanna do is go to desktop mode. All right, once you get into desktop mode, you wanna open your favorite browser. Mine, in my case, is Google Chrome. From Google Chrome, I will have the link below. You're gonna go to the GitHub, non-Steam Launcher on Steam Deck. And once you go, click that link on the, the information below. You're gonna click releases. For releases, you're gonna wanna go down to sources, zip. You wanna click that, it'll start downloading. I am using a mouse. It's easier to use a mouse when you're doing stuff like this and a keyboard, but preferably a mouse. A keyboard, you can just do the Steam plus X button and your keyboard will open. So we have it downloaded. It'll be under your download file. From there, you're gonna want to execute it. I normally take it to my documents. Move here from your documents. You're gonna wanna right click and extract archive here. Once you do that, you can delete the, the zip file. You wanna double click non, the non-Steam Launcher. From there, you're gonna to wanna to click the non-Steam Launcher desktop. From there, you wanna click Execute, Continue. And from here, you can choose the launchers you wanna use. It has a bunch of different options. You can do the Epic, which I'm gonna want. You can do GOG. Ubisoft, Origins, which I don't believe is even up anymore. Battle.net, if you have any Diablo games or before you were able, you would have to do this to play any Diablo games or even Overwatch, but now it's Steam verified. But I have some games bought on Battle.net, so we're gonna do that. You can do Amazon games. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do the EA app and as well as oh you can even do game pass as well if you have game pass yeah i've tried it it works great but there you gotta be next to your wi-fi router you can also do netflix hulu disney plus amazon prime video youtube twitch you got a list of options like rockstar launcher but for now i'm only gonna get what i need which is the ea app battle.net and epic from there you're gonna click okay Leave this blank, you want to click OK again. So it is going to take some time to download depending on how many launchers you have. Download it in the queue. In my case, it took up less than four minutes. But as you can see, everything is setting up. There's not much tinkering you have to do other than a couple compatibility things you need to get into. I'll show you later. So once it's down downloading, it'll ask you to log in to whatever launcher you have, but we'll wait to do that. So we're just gonna click exit and Steam will restart itself. So if you see the Steam store randomly open, it's okay. It's just letting you know that everything was successfully downloaded. Let me show you right here. It's gonna be under your own categories. So as you can see, we have Battle.net right here. We also have the EA app right here. You see there's no cover art, but that's okay. We can fix that. But before we do that, you're gonna wanna go to the Battle.net, click the cogwheel. From the cogwheel, go to Properties. And under Properties, you're gonna wanna switch it to Proton Experimental. You're gonna wanna do that to every single launcher, the EA, the Battle, and the Epic, whatever you download. Once you do that, you wanna go back into the cogwheel, and then from the cogwheel, you wanna go under manage. For manage, you wanna to go to controller layout. And under controller layout, you wanna make sure that it's under gamepad with mouse trackpad. So that's gonna give you options to freely move this right trackpad and able to click it. So once you have it under that, you wanna to go to edit layout. From edit layout, you wanna to go to the trackpads. Under trackpad, you wanna make sure that the right trackpad is under left mouse click. So whenever you wanna pick something, it'll adjust it with the click. But another qu quick, easy way to do that is if you just, if you don't wanna do all of this, you can just hold the steam button and then from the steam button, you can just move it around. 
So say if you open your Epic Launcher and you didn't do this, again, you can hold the Steam button and you're able to freely move and click. That's only if you don't wanna go through the settings of touching your controller layout. All right, once you got everything downloaded, you're probably wondering, it has no cover art. How do I get my cover art? Well, right now I'm gonna show you real quick how to get Decade Loader installed. So I'm gonna have a link below on the GitHub page. So you wanna click that link for Decade Loader. Once you're there, you wanna click this download link, very quick and easy, it'll download. Once it's download, you wanna go to your folders under downloads. You'll see right there, Decade Installer Desktop. You can move it to your desktop. It just depends on where you want it. I normally like keeping things on my documents if I don't want to see it. Okay, so only folders can be added. Okay, we're just going to execute it. Let's run into desktop. Move here. From desktop, you are going to want to open it. Execute. Continue. So you're going to need to enter a sudo password, but I'm going to show you how to create one. You want to go to system. From systems, you go to user, and from user, you already have a password, so you will enter your password right there. Once you enter your password into your Steam Deck user, you close that. You go back to Decky Loader, which would be enter your pseudo password. Once you enter the password, you want to go to update to the latest release, which it'll keep it updated. So we're done here. So now we can go back to gaming mode. All right, once you have the loader installed, you're gonna wanna click three buttons. And from there, you wanna go to the little plug and click the little hut. As you can see, I already had stuff downloaded, but these are the different options of things you can download, like Animation Changer. It'll change your boot up and suspend animation. It says right there what it'll do. Audio Loader will let you put UI sounds and as well as background music for your home settings. There's a list of options that tells you right there what they do. I suggest you take a look at each one of them, but for now, we're gonna go straight to Steam Grid DB. We're gonna click install. So from there, it'll show up right away right here. These are the different ones I have. These are the ones I normally use, especially CSS Loader. This will allow you to change your themes of backgrounds. We have Decky Loader installed. You want to click the start button or the three lines. You should see change artwork. From change artwork, you would click that, and you can adjust, you can make the capsule, the white capsule, the hero, the logo, the icon. Let's just make it quick. Let's do black with the white capsule of Blizzard, hero, swords. Logo, let's keep it battle.net and that's where we're running. Icon, simple. So it'll ask me to restart once we do that, but not this time. So we're gonna go back. As you can see, we have it up. And uh, same thing with Epic and the EA. Change artwork, let's go with the gold. White capsule, black and gold, hero. Simple. As you can see, it's not very hard to do. So once you got that going, you wanna open either the, whatever launcher you wanna start. Once you open it, it's gonna ask you for your login. You enter your login and from there, you're set to go. The game is taking a while to load up. It's because it's stalling everything, configuring it for you. See, you just gotta be patient. All right, from here, it will ask for your login. You enter your login. And then from the same thing goes for the EA app, the Epic app, like this one, the GOG, whatever app it is, you sign in from there. If you already have library set, if you already have a library, it'll show up right here whether any game launcher you use. As you can see, I have all these right here. 
And the best part about the Epic Store, which I personally love, oh yeah, let's adjust this real quick because sometimes that would happen, is that it does give you free games every month. They just recently gave the Outer Worlds, which I am currently playing. I'll be making a video about it soon. I love the game. It, I played more than 60 hours on my Switch, which is, I'm glad to be trying it now. So from there, let me just show you an example of how to download it. So we're going to do... Okay, let's just do Fallout 3. You want auto update. You don't want to create a shortcut. So what you want to do is go to your browser. You're going to want to go to this icon. From there, you want to go to run. You want to click media. And then for media, your SSD name will be here. Mine is MMC BLK, which I know. You want to click that. And then from here, you can create a folder. You got to do this in the desktop mode, but you can you can actually have it here. You don't need a folder. So you want to click open. And as you can see, it'll download directly into my SSD. And then you click install. I have read, accept, installed, failed. Okay, so I don't have enough memory, but as you can see, that's how you install into your SSD and that's pretty much how to get epic and the ea launcher going if you guys have any other questions let me know i'll do my best to answer anything you guys have remember to like subscribe comment and you know the rest peace